Okay, hi guys. Uh, before I start with the main video, uh, I'm just going to say who I am. I'm my name is Pierre Skitter. I'm currently a student at the Northwest University. I'm currently in my fourth year of, in of uh, computer engineering, and um, yeah, this video is about my final year project. So uh, hope you guys enjoy. Now, what are the big problems of African roads? Now, the main problems are traffic and theft, specifically on larger roads such as the one between Johannesburg and Durban where there are gangs known for stealing from cargo trucks and where traffic gets insane around the harbour. The traffic and the theft cause a lot of loss for the transport companies in our country while also ensuring that we don't use uh, more advanced supply chain methods such as just in time which can help increase revenue for these transport companies. The question now becomes how do we overcome traffic and theft? Well we can't stop them but we can plan around them. By accurately determining when a truck will arrive at a location, we can ensure that it doesn't spend a lot of time in dangerous areas and we can also determine exactly when it's going to arrive, allowing us to develop more advanced supply chain methods while also trying to avoid traffic by planning better around traffic. Now, in order to plan, we need to accurately estimate the time of arrival. We do this by fitting mathematical models to historic data given by many transport companies. These models should be able to map trends in the data and then from those trends determine the ETA more accurately than just estimating it. The models that will be compared for the final system are the average travel time, linear regression models, boosted regression trees and artificial neural networks. Now it's estimated that as the complexity of the models increases the accuracy will also increase. So all the models will be tested and then compared and the best one will then be used in the final implementation. For the final implementation the following process was followed. The data was analyzed, the models were set up, the models were fit to the data, they were then compared to each other using different methods, and then the base model found out of all of them was connected to the user interface to create the final solution. Now the final implementation was a combination of an artificial neural network and a straight line distance based estimator. All the straight line distance based estimator did was estimate the progress through the current segment of, you know, of a route to try and help the neural network to uh, adapt the ETA. Now the system used all the different categorization methods listed below and it yielded a maximum deviation of 1.1 hours and a mean average percentage error of 11%. If I can give any recommendation on how to improve this design or for somebody trying to do something similar, I'd say use a language you know very well. I'd say something like C works very well. It might be a bit harder to understand in the beginning, but it works very well for full implementations. Uh, design modular to make sure everything fits together nice and if you make changes that everything still works plan every change and remember to keep backups. It's really important to ensure that you can go back to previous versions if you do make a mistake and document everything. You waste a lot of time if you don't document every single thing because then later you'll have to try and figure out when you did it, where you did it and how you did it. Alright, thanks for watching.